Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create 8B audio out of any song of your choice. So if you're an artist, this is a perfect way to market your song. I've made a video in the past on how to slow down and reverb your song. So if you want to check that out, check the description. I'm also going to leave a link to other audio editing tutorials that I've made in the past. If you guys don't know what 8D audio, basically it immerses you into the song because the music sort of shifts left and right and back and forth through your headphones. So you're only really going to be able to listen to it on your headphones or if you have multiple like speakers set up. But basically, instead of having both headphones play the same thing at the same volume, it'll go back and forth left and right. You might have heard this on some songs in the past. It's really immersive and it's a really good experience for the listener. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's just get straight into it. So right here we're in audacity audacity is a free program i actually don't use it a lot but uh, for this tutorial it's actually easier than using my uh, typical audio editing software which is adobe audition so i'm going to leave a link to audacity in the description um, it's available for mac and windows so right here i pulled up my audio so it's a uh, beach streams ocean jams you can also see my schoolwork right here um, so basically we're just going to drag in the song so we have one track here and we're actually going to do it again. So we're going to have two different uh, tracks of the same song. Once you're done that, you can see there's left and right, left and right. Basically, one of these tracks are going to be for the left ear only, and one's going to be for the right ear. Next, what we want to do is we want to sort of set points at which the music shifts from your left ear to your right ear or from your right ear to your left ear. So I'm just going to do it um, at 15, 30, 45 seconds. Uh, so 15 second intervals. So you want to select on the second option right here, the envelope tool. And you just want to click at 15 seconds on both tracks. And then 30 seconds, you want to make sure that they line up um, pretty well. So I'm not going to do it all the way throughout the song because you guys are going to get the gist of it uh, from the first minute. You also want to set a point at zero as well. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, basically, all you want to do is when the left ear is loud, the right ear is going to be quiet. So what I mean by this is if you just drag down right here, you can see you can adjust the volume. So we're just going to start right away. So let's just say you want to start with um, the left ear. Uh, we're basically just going to select on the first point and drag down for the right ear. So basically it'll fade in, but the beginning is quiet. So the left ear is going to be opposite. So the beginning is going to be loud. And then at the 15 second mark, it's going to be quieter. And so we're just going to alternate like that. So I'm just going to stop at 45 seconds actually. So you can see what happens. So when the left ear is loud, the right ear is quiet. When the left ear is quiet, the right ear is loud. So you just want to alternate back and forth like that. So if I play it right now, you'll actually be able to hear it. Um, obviously the transition's a little slower between the left and right ear because it takes around um, like 10 to 15 seconds. Um, because I chose to make it 15 second intervals. But if you wanted to go back and forth uh, constantly, you would just make these points every like five seconds. So I'm gonna play it right around here where the transition happens. And if you're wearing headphones right now or you have multiple speakers, which I doubt you have watching a YouTube video, um, you're gonna be able to hear it. So pay attention to which ear you hear the music from. So if you guys heard it correctly, it went from the left ear to the right ear, and then it's gonna go back. And basically to sort of finish off the effect, you just wanna make some audio changes with effects. Um, the biggest one is just reverb. That's the only like mandatory one that really makes a difference. And the rest are up to you. So if you select both audio tracks, so press Control A, um, you can go to effect, reverb, and right here where it says room size, depending on how um, strong you want the effect you're gonna increase it so I'm just gonna increase it so you guys can really hear the difference so I'm gonna play one more time
So once you're done that, um, you want to export it. You just want to make sure that your audio file is stereo. Basically stereo means there's a left side and a right side. If you export it as a mono track, basically the left and right ear are going to be the same volume and same sound. So, um, so for the purpose of this effect, you want to make sure that it's stereo. So if you export, you can export as MP3 wave. Um, so let's just press audio. And then you can see here, your tracks will be mixed down and, ex and export it into a one stereo file, which is fine. If you see mono, um, you want to make sure that it shows as stereo. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and check out um, how to slow and reverb your song in the description. Um, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.